Hi, I'm Kaylin Snodgrass. I'm a sophomore at Thomas Jefferson High School. My poem is called The Plague of Iowa. <laughs> Everyone has a story or an adventure they must share, whether they start in a closet under the stairs, in a little hobbit hole, or even high in a tower guarded by dragons. But for me, there is no story to be told. There isn't an adventure I must share. There is no dragon who has locked me away. Because in my hometown, there is nothing. <laughs> nothing except the house across the street with the peeling yellow paint in the house next door with the near roofless garage. Nothing except dead grass in my yard, in that yard, and yeah, that one too, in all the yards up to the end of the block. There is nothing but the faded red of the playground monkey bars in the swimming pool everyone flocks to in the summer heat and the occasional concert, but that's in the town next door. We're not even on the map, but even if we were, no one would look for us. No one says that they want to visit Council Bluffs. Oh, you mean that one town with O-Face Bar and Farrah from Teen Mom? Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> there is no special little diner every town should have, nor is there anyone who ever really wants to get out. All we seem to have is a few little pet stores, a Walmart, and the Toys R Us with the most disgusting bathroom anyone has ever seen. <laughs> oh, and of course a McDonald's on every other block, and another one next to Walmart. <laughs> the people are plagued with mullets and a lack of shirts, as well as an apparent <laughs> lack of running water and shampoo. For God's sake, we even have a Facebook page for us appropriately titled Only in Council Bluffs. And only in Council Bluffs indeed, because only in Council Bluffs will you find the Golden Spike, one of the nation's great monuments, next to a trailer park. <laughs> All I'm saying is that there's a reason we're known as Council Tucky. <laughs> there is no excitement or even, a so, uh, even so much as a glimmer of, wow, that was fun, because going to Walmart when you're bored is not fun. And going to a creaky little park with condoms on the concrete is not fun. As much as I hit on good old CB, it is the town I have grown up in, it is the place I call home, and it is most definitely where I am most comfortable. Even if the only adventure I could speak of try is trying to drive down Broadway without dying, even if the best thing about us is the black angel statue in the middle of a graveyard, even if Farrah Abram, teen mom turned porn star, is our best asset, <laughs> and even if there's a crackhead across from my grandma's house who sweeps her grass. Every story has its own characters, its own unique, special little characters that make it what it is. And believe me when I say that there is absolutely no shortage of those characters in Council Bluffs.